Here's tonight's 9 at 9. A 23-year-old local woman who was severely injured two weeks ago in a wrong way crash with a deputy U.S. Marshal has died. San Antonio police say Taylor McCowan died Saturday. Jonathan Jones was arrested on a charge of intoxication assault. Police say he was drunk and driving the wrong way on Loop 1604 near Babcock Road when he crashed head-on into McCowan's car. Charges expected to be upgraded to intoxication manslaughter. In Florida, a driver killed after a train hits his car. Investigators believe the driver of the car drove around the barricades in order to beat the train. The Washington State woman accused of drugging a mother and attempting to kidnap her infant appeared in court for the first time today. Juliet Parker charged with assault and attempted kidnapping, and now more moms who say they were targeted by Parker are coming forward. We believe she was attempting to find a small female infant and was going to kidnap the baby and take the baby out of state and raise it as her own. Police are asking if anyone has been contacted by a woman posing as a photographer with the name Juliet Parker, Juliet Noel, or Juliet Gaines to call detectives as soon as possible. Here at home, three men involved in a stolen car chase arrested. A fourth suspect remains on the run at this hour. The sheriff's office says the chase started around four this morning near Highway 281 and 1604. It came to a crashing end about 20 minutes later. A brazen smash and grab robbery attempt was caught on camera in Colorado. At least two suspects used two cars to crash into a restaurant. After the first vehicle plows through, the suspects target an ATM and a cash register. Then a second car is backed into the ATM. Not clear how much cash was taken, but the owner says they targeted the right register. Good Samaritans helped rescue a family of five after their SUV plunges off a bridge and into a river in South Carolina. It went parallel to the bridge and then it hit the uh, edge of a cliff and it jumped. I saw its brake lights and then it just disappeared in a huge splash of water. Three witnesses who saw the car crash into the river immediately jumped into action. They were able to safely rescue a father, four kids and a puppy. A man with a tattoo that says crime pays has been arrested in Indiana for the second time in three months. Both times Donald Murray was arrested. It was after allegedly leading police on a chase. He's facing several charges, including resisting law enforcement and possession of methamphetamine. Here's a photo of 16 snakes that were found stuffed in a pillowcase left outside a fire station in Northeast England. It's the second time it's happened. The first pillowcase was found Thursday with 13 Royal Pythons. This pillowcase found Saturday in the exact same spot with 15 corn snakes and a carpet python. No word on who's behind this. A botched building implosion in Dallas has created an unexpected tourist destination. This is all that was left of the building after the weekend's failed demolition. We had to come get our uh, picture with it leaning, just like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So now we have our own. We think it should stay. The rest of the building will eventually be demolished with a crane and a wrecking ball. To read more about these stories, head to ksat.com.